Hey everybody, what is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and in this video, we're talking Cody log files, so stay tuned. So we've all gotten that check the log for errors message lately, especially on Cody, and I wanted to know why I was getting it so often, so I decided to do a little bit of research. And so what I want to do is, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to locate your own Kodi log file. That way you can do your own research into finding out what might be going on with your system. And then also, so if you need to post something on the Kodi forums, you can, so that you can get the help that you need for your Kodi to run uh, properly. So I'm going to go ahead and post, um, this is going to be a Mac tutorial but I'm going to go ahead and post in the description the pathways for other systems so that if you're on a Windows or Linux or whatever, you can do this too. Now, along with that, I'm also going to let you know that the pathway for the Mac was not necessarily entirely accurate. So if your pathway is wrong, you might want to do some searching on the web to find where your Kodi log file is stored if you're on another system, if if the pathways I have in the description are not accurate for you guys either. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you get that check log for errors message, immediately after you get that, what you're going to want to do is locate your log file. So the way that you do that for Mac is from your top menu bar, you're going to click on Go. Then you're going to click on Computer. Click on your Macintosh HD or whatever you've named your hard disk. Users, your name, and then finally you're going to click on library. Now again, if you don't see your library, as we said in one of the last videos, simply just go up to the top here where it says view. Then go down here to where it says show view options. And then make sure show library is checked off. And then once you do that, you should be able to see your library straight away. So click on library. Now click on logs. And you are looking for Cody.log, which is right here. Now this is going to be a plain text file, so when you open it up, you're going to see all your errors and announcements and things like that that have happened whilst you were running Cody. And if you have opened up this log file, right after the last error you got then this is going to tell you what it was and then once you know what the error was you can begin to search up what you know what that error means let's just go ahead and show you one example so here I have put in an error that I was getting a lot and I wanted to know what this error was so I searched it on Google and it came back with some interesting information so the first result here is old Cody short shutdown delay seems to be back. Now, um, right away I knew that this was pertaining to a problem I was having with Cody shutting down right away. Cody has been forcing me to quit um, off and on lately and I was trying to figure out why. Um, so it's actually being logged in here and I was able to search and um, figure out a little bit more about that particular error. So it just is always helpful to know what's going on, what the errors are, and how to resolve them so that you can become better equipped to handle what goes on with Cody. Um, that way, instead of just, you know, depending on others to fix things for you, you can learn to fix them yourself. So that is how you get your Cody log externally from Cody. Now you can also find your Cody log within Cody, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So from in Cody, you are going to want to go into System, and then you're going to want to go to Add-ons. Then you're going to want to go to Install from Repository. And then you're going to want to go to Cody Add-on Repository. Then you're going to want to click on Program Add-ons. And you're going to want to download this add-on which is log viewer for for Cody. So quickly install that. And once that is enabled, you can come out, go to your program add-ons, and it will be right here. So just click on show log, 
and this will show your all of your logged events and stuff like that. This will show your full log here. Now the other thing that you can do is you can go into I believe it's a maintenance tool and then in maintenance tool just scroll down and you're gonna find something called log uploader so what log uploader will allow you to do is get an email copy of your log and this way you can um, put this on the forums that you'll need help from so you're just gonna click this add-on right here and it's going to tell you that a pop-up window is going to appear that allows you to put in your uh, your name and your email address so that you can have the form emailed to you so if you click OK or even if you click escape it's going to give you that option to do what is necessary to receive a copy of your, your log file that way you can upload it to forums and things like that to get the help you need so hopefully this has helped you. If it has, please give me a thumbs up or a share. Also, if my videos and tutorials help you, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out a lot. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.